yeah, it's it's good. You know, it's, it's always good when you join a Springbok team, and I and I think the guys that's uh, that's involved at the moment they they try and create a, a positive atmosphere. And, and obviously, after the result of the last game, it's um, you know it's still uh, it's still very positive. And the new guys coming in as well, you can see they they're a little bit uh, a little bit shy and hesitant, but uh, but also nice for them to be part of the squad. Yeah, we you know every time we play, we play to win. So. Uh, we've been pretty successful the, the previous two years on the on the November tours, and uh, you know we, we've got our standards. So hopefully, we can have a successful one this time around as well. Yeah, I think you know the reality is that uh, that we've got eight games left. I think before before the World Cup, and, and you know as a as a squad, and that's that's not a lot. So whatever you want to work on, whatever combinations you want to try, you want to be able to do that now, not going into the into the World Cup doing that. So. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to do that, uh, but also it, it gives us the opportunity to uh, to sort of improve uh, on, on where we left off against the All Blacks and against uh, Australia and Cape Town. And uh, you know there were definitely some positive signs in, in those games, but also a lot to work on. So that's the key for us: is to it's just to constantly improve. Well, I think the stats definitely show that. So. Um, it all depends on how we finish the year. Uh, you know, you, you got to finish strong, and we got to finish with, with good performances in, the, in those four tests. Yeah, we've had a bit of a review today uh, regarding the attack because the, uh, the main focus of today's session was uh, was attack and a little bit of conditioning. Uh, and there were a lot of positives. Obviously, we won the game, but but still, we, we made a lot of mistakes, and uh, and it's trying to to improve every single time we play and. Uh, and constantly showing improvement in all facets of play. So, uh, you know, just because we beat the All Blacks doesn't mean that it was a perfect game. It was far from it, and we still need to improve a hell of a lot to, to be successful on the on the November tour. Well, I think I think it is a, a little bit slower due to the conditions, but but then again, we, we had a lot of wet games this year in the, in the championship. Uh, I think the breakdown is, is probably a, a, a bit more of a battle. Uh, in the in the northern hemisphere, and also depends on the referees you've got. Uh, so, so no, uh, yeah, you know it's it's a different challenge, yes, because of its because it's different opposition. But um, they'll um, they'll definitely compete the breakdown. And we need to be sharp there, and also uh, you know first phases will always stay important for us. Uh, so it's being able to keep ball in hand, but also play in the in the right area. So it, it was a fantastic experience, to be honest. Uh, you know we went to. ASIC's headquarters there, and uh, uh, the, the sort of drills they went through, the testing they did, you know, on your on your uh, on your feet, uh, the body scans and all that. It, it was it was really cool. Um, we also tested some kit for for World Cup next year, and, and they're definitely doing a lot to uh, you know to improve wherever they can uh, in our apparel for for game day. And then also rugby there is, is really improving, and, and I think the standard is really high. So. Uh, Japan will be a tough test for us in the, in the World Cup, they're in our pool um, and, and I definitely think it's a team that's improving a lot.